Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the internal questions or extra questions from the chapter 2 of standard 7. The chapter is the earth and the changes on it. To start with the first question. Distinguish between weathering and erosion. Dear children, this question is very easy. Simply you write in weathering side, you will write the process which breaks the rocks into smaller pieces is known as weathering. And in the erosion side, you will write the gradual wearing and carrying away of those broken rock particles from one place to another is known as erosion. Second point in weathering you can write it takes place on account of the weather changes. That means it takes place when the rocks are exposed in two different types of weather changes. And in case of erosion it takes place because of the action of the natural agents of gradations like the glacier, the running water, the wind, etc, etc. So these two points you can write and if you want to write one more point, simply you can write weathering does not involve uh, transportation. Erosion involves transportation. The next question, how are continental glaciers different from mountain glaciers? So simply you will write, so suppose in this question it will be added water glaciers, then this part will be added. So water glaciers you will write, after that you will write the distinction. Continental glaciers means the glaciers which occupy large areas over the continents are known as continental glaciers. In case of mountain glaciers, these are the glaciers which occupy smaller areas over the mountains. So, if we compare the size, the continental glaciers are larger, whereas the mountain glaciers are smaller. Then you will write the example. In case of continental glaciers, you can write Greenland, Antarctica, etc. And in case of mountain glacier, you will write Gangotri glacier, Pindari glacier, Siachin glacier, Yamunetri glacier, you can write. Then coming to the next question, explain the role played by human beings in changing the face of the earth. This is a paragraph based question. At the end of sea waves, it is given in a book, go through the book, you will write it properly. So human beings play a crucial role in changing the face of the earth. How? Due to the overgrowing population and industrialization that has disturbed the natural environment. Then second point you will write the wrong human activities like deforestation, uh, changing in land use pattern, Overgrazing by the animals, these are the other reasons which are changing the face of the earth. Point wise you can write. The next question, what do you mean by horizons of soil? Explain about the different horizons of soil with diagram. Dear children, in your book in exercise question, it is given that explain about the process of formation of soil with diagram. So this part you are also writing in that but it can be asked separately that what are horizons of soil and explain about the different horizons we diagram. So horizons means the distinct layer of soil which are formed over a longer period of time are called as the horizons of soil. That means simply you can understand as you know throughout uh, that means the soil forming processes as it is very slow the weathering erosion deposition all are included in that and wherever the deposition will be there layer wise deposition will be there so distinct layers are formed and those distinct layers of soil which are formed over a long period of time they are known as horizons of soil there are four horizons of soil so what are those four horizons of soil? 
from the bottom you can write that first horizon of soil is bed rock or solid rock in your diagram it is given solid rock you can write bed rock also then above that lies the weathered rock the second horizon the third horizon is the soft soil and the top horizon is the top soil which contains humus diagram given in your book uh, draw it very nicely and always labeling is very important you will mention there which is top soil which is subsoil which is weathered uh, soil horizon and the soil solid rock or the bed rock that means simply the same diagram which is given for soil layers that will draw in for the horizons of soil coming to the next questions describe the important features of different types of soil it may be asked separately like about the alluvial soil black soil red soil or laterite soil for three mark question it will be there list three important features of alluvial soil or explain three important features of the black soil or ask in your exercise question it is asked write one or two important features of each in that way it can be there so what you are going to write first one alluvial soil features means first important feature you will write that it is formed due to the action of rivers that means due to the deposition of sediments by the rivers second point you will write it is very fertile and highly cultivated throughout india even throughout the world and you are writing about india so you write in the third point it is most widely spread soil of india which is found over the northern plains and the coastal plains so coming to the next you can about the black soil black soil your first point the egs it is black in color and it is also known as cotton soil as it is good for the growth of cotton then second point you can write like it is it has uh, the ability to retain moisture retain moisture and become sticky when wet and it is also fertile and you can write it is found over the deccan plateau it covers the parts of madhya pradesh gujarat maharashtra karnataka etc you will write like that three points coming to the red soil so red soil first point you will write it is red in color because of it contains iron particles then you can write it is highly porous fine grain and deep and mostly it is found in you can write in some parts of peninsular plateau and in some uh, you can write some patches over the northeastern states this much you will write for red soil and the last soil is laterite soil so laterite soil simply you can write it is found over the hilly slopes where heavy rainfall takes place and second point like Uh, you can write it is the it is formed by the process of leaching leaching means here because of the heavy rainfall the top layer which contains the humus or other micronutrients in the soil or minerals that leach down that goes down that process is known as leaching so you will write this then uh, regarding uh, the next question question number 6 what is soil erosion mention the causes of soil erosion suggest some measures to check soil erosion or to solve the problem of soil erosion in your book it is given that why soil erosion uh, conservation of soil is important and in the same suggest some measures but it can be asked in this way also what is soil erosion means the removal of the top layer of the soil is known as soil erosion simply removal of removal of the top layer of the soil is known as soil erosion resin in resin you will write first you can write like due to wrong human practices deforestation uh, mining activities or you can write over grazing by the animals these are the reason and second one you can write like due to the action of the natural agents like the wind the sea waves the glaciers these also help in soil erosion 
then what measures can be taken to conserve soil erosion what are the measures first you can write like by planting trees as deforestation is a cause so afforestation is the major you can write by encouraging afforestation or by planting more and more trees next you can write by selective agricultural practices like crop rotation or by you can write multiple cropping method will not allow the land to be fallow there should be cultivation so and uh, your crop rotation that helps in retaining the soil fertility or in nitrogen fixation that is why it is also very important so by uh, practicing selective agricultural practices like crop rotation or multiple cropping then you can write by development and management of pasture land because overgrazing is the cause how that can be changed so for animals we have to develop and manage pasture land and finally you can write the point like mass awareness should be created for the adoption of all these practices from the local level to the national level so these are the measures it is given in the last paragraph of your book other than this question one more question can be asked whatever the words are given in bold letter in your book those can be asked in one more question you have to prepare those unlike uh, features two erosional features formed by running water one erosional and one depositional feature formed by the sea waves like this type of questions can be asked and for diagram you both practice diagram of delta and the soil layer both are very important practice is properly with proper labeling you have to draw in the exam so this is all about uh, regarding your internal or inside questions from the chapter 2 i hope all these will be very helpful to you so thank you children